Hey, what's up, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Asia Rugby Live. Real talk, real rugby as we talk about return to play. And uh, we are so looking forward to return to play. Of course, we have another set of guests on this show. This, uh, I think if we are in uh, episode 8, or oh, was it episode 9? Okay, I lost count. So we are in epi- uh, season 3. Anyway, guys, of course, uh, rugby is happening. And I am very happy to, I just got to know this. That 14 teams right now are in Dubai. So what they are doing in Dubai is Rugby Sevens Journey Road to Tokyo preparation for the Olympic Games continues to take shape as 14 women's and men's international teams arrive in Dubai to participate uh, in a competitive high performance uh, training camp. And, and which includes two tournaments uh, happening on the 2nd and 3rd of April, which is uh, this weekend, and also on the 9th, 8th and 9th of April next weekend. So, wow. I'm, I'm so looking forward to that. I'm so looking forward to what's happening, which teams are participating in that tournament and stuff. And uh, the other news is, if you go to asiarugby.com, uh, you can see that World Rugby has announced a committed in um, fostering safer and more accessible accessible game for all as well as a welfare and law symposium to consider further actions to advance player safety uh, uh, welfare. So check it out on asiarugby.com and don't forget to like and subscribe uh, to our Facebook and also YouTube and also Instagram page. Uh, we have new content in the future. Okay, so today we are talking about uh, Unstoppables. We are talking to a few Unstoppables. I think this is our second time talking to the Unstoppables of Asia. And okay, I have two Unstoppables and I have one translator who is also the ex-co member of Pakistan Rugby Union. So let's roll them in. First of all, we have, let us see, come on. Put them in. Okay, there you go. So we have uh, Sobia Shaheen from Pakistan and Sandhya Rai from India. Thank you very much, guys, for being on the show. And uh, translator, I have to I have to introduce this translator as well because she is in the show as well. So it's Shirin Hina Ashgar from Pakistan. She's the ex-co of Pakistan Rugby Union. Hello, Shirin. Thank you very much. Uh, Shirin, just now, I think just 10 minutes ago, under 10 minutes ago, she was in the train you know, trying to catch a way back to be on the show. So thank you very much, Shirin, for, you know, spending time with us uh, uh, this evening uh, on Asia Rabbi Line. Probably this evening, uh, for you guys, you should be like four hours behind. Anyway. Um, thank okay, you. First of all, thank like you to, so very yeah, much. Thank for... you very much. No problem. No problem. Okay. First of all, I would like to ask uh, Shobia. Shobia, can you uh, tell us a little bit about yourself and probably your rugby journey as well? Assalamu alaikum. Uh, my name alaykum is Sobhya Shaheen from Pakistan. Uh, I playing rugby for over uh, six years and before playing rugby, I really don't know about anything about rugby. But uh, my coaches encourage me to play rugby and motivate me and also guide me about rules of um, rugby. And uh, I do more mistakes during my trainings like uh, uh, forward throw and uh, uh, throw the ball when somebody tackle me uh, but uh, my coach is uh, uh, my coach is uh, encourage me and motivate me about uh, rules and skill and now i am more passionate about um, for rugby uh, when i play first match in uh, uh, in 2015 I uh, I try five scores and my coach gave me a best player award of best player of team and this uh, that moment is really blessing for me and uh, uh, after that I am um, I am Alhamdulillah I am now right now uh, unstoppable ambassador of Asia rugby as well as um, uh, Pakistan rugby union. A developmental officer of Pakistan Rugby Union. Thank you. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. Thank you very much for the introduction and thank you very much for being on the show. Mm-hmm. And of course, uh, you know, there's uh, with with the internet. Uh, the thing is about us, we are broadcasting from all over the place. And of course, some places have internet problem. Uh, and bear, please bear with us. Please bear with us uh, wherever you are because uh, from where wherever Shobia is, she's having 
um, not not to say uh, it's intermittent internet connection. So sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not that good. So please bear with us. Anyway, Shobia, thank you very much for being with us. We really appreciate for, uh, with you, you know, sharing your story of being an unstoppable ambassador. Okay, uh, next, Sadia, what about you? Can, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and your rugby journey? Okay, so hello everyone. Uh, I'm Sandhya from a small village which is called Saraswati Food, uh, which is in India, West Bengal. And uh, now I live in Kolkata because I'm doing study here and I work with the Career Foundation as a community coach. And uh, I started playing rugby in 2013 and it's been like uh, eight years ago. And um, yeah, I started with a poll begin with the poll and uh, before rugby there was no game for girls as you know that uh, I'm a, from a small village which is called Saraswati Pur and uh, before there was no equal opportunity for girls there only boys are there who is playing uh, like uh, some uh, some kind of games like football and cricket but uh, there is no game for girls uh, when uh, I got introduced with rugby where I started playing rugby and uh, after one year I was selected in club team and because of my performance, I got uh, slowly, slowly, I improved myself and I got selected in my state team as well as my uh, uh, India country team. And uh, yeah, and uh, now uh, it's all good here. And uh, now, like, religious people uh, like supporting us and uh, being unstoppable, this is a lot to me. And uh, yeah, this is my rugby journey. It started from 2013 and it's been like eight years ago. And I've been played for. Uh, India country to yeah, nice yeah, thank you very much for that. Thank you very much for sharing that again. Thank you very much for being on the show. Uh, and of course, uh, after this, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll ask some, some questions for you to share with our audience of uh, how you become an, uh, an, an unstoppable. Okay, first of all, Sovia, uh, you know, after asking about your rugby journey, can you tell us a little bit about your city, Gilgit, and the rugby in Gilgit? Oh, sorry. Uh, sorry, Sobia, can you hear me? What would that, okay, sorry. Uh, because we can't hear you right now. Okay, hold on one second. Okay, can you repeat that, Sobia? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Ah, yeah, okay. Better, yep. Okay. Yes. Can you repeat that? Uh, Gilgit Baltistan is beautiful city of uh, Pakistan uh, and new uh, province of Pakistan. Uh, famous, uh, it's famous for uh, highest uh, polo ground uh, is all the, uh, all over the world and uh, also for, famous for uh, ski. Uh, polo ground is in Shindur, Chitral and uh, Naltar uh, where uh, ski is in Naltar and uh, Gilgit Baltistan are also uh, different places for uh, tourism like Naltar, Astor, Sikardo, Funder, Hunza and Hunjarab towards China and I wish uh, to uh, I wish it is also uh, famous for rugby and and uh, Gilgit is also famous for having the highest polo tournament uh, in the world is it true uh, I think I think it's highest ground of polo. So uh, how how famous All is polo? All over the world. Uh, how famous is polo uh, uh, over uh, in Gilgit? Uh, it's uh, polo is the uh, national game of Gilgit. Matlab, Gilgit uh, is the. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> national game of Gilgit and also uh, Pakistan, Pakistan uh, hockey is in Pakistan, but Gilgit, uh, Gilgit, uh, uh, in Gilgit there are uh, many uh, uh, players uh, of uh, polo and uh, they are participating in uh, all, uh, participating in all over the world uh, events uh, playing in uh, uh, dead ground. Sorry. Sure, sure. No problem, no problem. Thank you for sharing that. And of course, uh, like uh, Sobia said, probably I would think that rugby in Gilgit is uh, is is a growing sport. And of course, 
I wouldn't say it's competing with Polo, but I would think it's a growing spot in Gilgit. And you know, how about you, Sandy? How can you tell us, sir? How about rugby uh, is in your village in India, Sandy? Okay, so uh, rugby right now is a grooming sport in India. Uh, not very popular in India, but uh, yeah, it's uh, uh, it's going to be popular as, as uh, hope it will be popular soon. And uh, yeah, in my village there was a uh, like uh, five hundred children playing rugby. Uh, as soon as uh, it will be increased number, hope it will be. And uh, in rugby uh, in India there was a uh, seventy percent boys playing rugby and thirty percent girls. So we try to hope that uh, we try to bring all the girls from our India, all the uh, from rural area and communities, and try to be change it, it soon possible for us. And uh, yeah, hope. But uh, yeah, let's see. And talking about uh, talking about rugby, I said yeah. Um, you know, yeah. tell us uh, what has been the benefits of uh, playing rugby for you, Sandhya. Okay, uh, so for me, um, rugby uh, is a more, more, more important uh, part of my life because it changed my life. Uh, when I was in village, there was nothing to do for me, and uh, from rugby, I got opportunity to come out from my village to see the world, and uh, from rugby, I got opportunity to travel uh, the international, uh, international countries, and uh, from uh, rugby, I got, I got to learn confidence. And I'm going to like the equal opportunities. I'm going to like the equal rights for uh, women. And uh, yeah, rugby like, taught me like various type of important things in my life. And this is your. We are looking at your team, is it? Yeah, yeah. These are the my team. Oh, nice, nice. Thank you very much for sharing this. And of course, uh, you guys are having so much fun uh, with the mud. Uh, and Sandhya. Um, you know, yeah. you said just now rugby has brought you, you know, to take to see the world. So where have you been? Where have you traveled to play rugby before? Yeah, I will. Uh, from uh, for team, uh, obviously, I want to be in a World Cup. So we trying to be in there. I uh, hope it will be happen, and we try. Uh, yeah, we continuously we try to be in there. Oh, of course, of course. Before this, where have you traveled before? Before this, which country? Uh, like uh, recently, I have been traveled in Indonesia. Mm -hmm. Recently, in two thousand eighteen, and we uh, we was in a final, so uh, it was great tournament for me and for my uh, country. Oh, nice, nice. So I think, uh, yeah, of course, like these two ladies, rugby has given a lot to to you guys yeah. and the 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 stories that. You know, you guys have submitted. It's very unique to, uh, you know, the panelists to to pick you guys to be the top sixteen of uh, the unstoppables. So for Sovia, um, you know, can you Sovia, can, can you tell us uh, uh, about the women's rugby in Pakistan? Uh, before two thousand fifteen, there is no rugby for women in Pakistan. Uh, in 2015, there was uh, a Pakistan Rugby Union organized uh, uh, Pakistan Rugby Union or organized uh, uh, event of for uh, women rugby to. to in 2015. And uh, I also represent clubs that still introduce women's rugby and boys also. And uh, uh, Pakistan, uh, and now Pakistan Rugby Union uh, uh, organized different events all over Pakistan. And recently, I participating in a south a south punjab uh, event rugby event and or got, uh, our team uh, got first position in there oh that's great that's great uh it um of course when 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 you guys win that tournament uh, the feeling must be great and sandhya uh talking about you know we heard you know about pakistan rugby 
from uh, Sobia just now. What about India rugby? How's the women's rugby in India right now, Sandhya? Uh, yeah, so uh, women's rugby, uh, women's team are doing very well at uh, uh, SCR rugby uh, in the, at the performance. And uh, yeah, they are very uh, hard workers. And uh, yeah, we I we with them in a uh, camp, so I see that they are very hardworking, and uh, we try to uh, if we try to improve our team and uh, try to top in uh, Asia Division One. Uh, now we are in uh, Asia Division Two, so we try to be there. And uh, yeah, they are very good. They are try to uh, bring all the girls from the communities and try to uh, like uh, try to uh, like to increase the numbers of girls in India. And uh, yeah, they are very hard workers. Yeah. And um, uh, when you say they are very hard workers, uh, of course, yeah. you have played against uh, many, many teams in India, right? Uh, do you see India um, being a, a big team one day? A good team one day, probably? Yeah, I think so. It, uh, yeah. India team is a very good team, and uh, for comparison, boys like uh, the women's team are very good. That's great. That's great. And uh, how about the women's uh, women rugby development in India? Uh, how how what do you think of the women's rugby development in India? So nowadays we have got uh, like a more opportunity, more uh, more tournaments. So yeah, it is very good idea. Uh, like we India provides like uh, tournaments more and more. So it is good for all the women and all the boys too. And uh, because of we got opportunity to perform there in tournaments, so in also increase our number to the boys and girls sport. And uh, we got opportunity for us now. Uh, rugby India providing us a job too. And uh, yeah, it is very uh, grateful to uh, like uh, we're very grateful for us to playing rugby. Here. Uh, Sobia, what does uh, rugby means to you, Sobia? Uh, rugby, I uh, want to say that rugby is a very energetic and a lovely game for me, and also disciplined and pas passionate game. And I note uh, uh, some uh, a wording uh, that you said uh, before. Uh, in uh, before uh, in next episode sorry before episode and rugby create the leader and i like this line <laughs> sorry that's great that's great of, and of course i think you'll be a great leader especially in your co community what about you sandia what is what does rugby means uh, to you sandia so rugby means for me uh, it is a lot to me uh, because uh, uh, before when I, uh, before joining rugby, there was nothing for me. I was, uh, as I said, and uh, from rugby, I learned lots of important things uh, in my life. That is solidarity, as you know, that rugby is a team game. And uh, where I learned that uh, support team, uh, support uh, each other and integrity, which is I learned from rugby, that uh, trust each other when I play uh, uh, in the field and out of field and there was a um, like passion for rugby yeah i i have passion for rugby and uh yeah whatever we're doing whatever you guys doing yeah passion uh make it passion for it and follow your dream and it will be succeed in a life very soon and uh, yeah rugby taught me various uh, like uh, like more 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 important thing like equal opportunity also too and uh, like well rise like solidarity and these kind of things which i learned from rugby uh yeah and of course i think uh because where where you guys have been of course rugby is the one of the most important things in your life and talking about rugby uh sandhya have you played against pakistan before this uh, yeah, I had played uh, back, uh, with against Pakistan team in Brunei, which is held in yeah, which is held in Brunei in uh, 2017. Uh, like Pakistan team has like very good and uh, very good players. And uh, as you know that uh, Pakistan also know the our uh, Hindi language and uh, we too uh, speak in Hindi. So yeah, we will both connect. Uh, like communication is a similar thing. And uh, yeah, that was great match against Pakistan. Yeah. Oh, that's really good to hear, especially, you know, you guys are 
you know making friends despite uh, whatever yeah. you know backgrounds where you guys are from rugby connects all rugby unites all and that's just lov- lovely to hear and uh, i also want to talk to shirin the translator as she's the ex co member of uh, pakistan rugby so shirin uh, you know as the member of uh, pakistan rugby so how do you see uh, especially women's rugby in in pakistan nowadays Uh, hi there first of all i would like to apologize uh, as i am sitting inside the train i am divisional commercial officer from pakistan and today uh, fortunately or unfortunately we had to travel somewhere with our officers team to inspect uh, different stations in pakistan uh, talking about rugby uh, it is quite fortunate for pakistani nation that women are getting ahead women are getting Uh, their participation in rugby uh, game which was previously denied uh, women were not that privileged as they are now in pakistan and uh, uh, seeing sobia shaheen from gilgit baltistan it's uh, it's it it seems lovely that people from far frank area also get opportunities to get inside this game and uh, uh, they they'll become world leaders uh, in some time and i have prayers yeah, and sure. wishes for all of all of the people for sure for sure uh, and uh, shirin just uh, one fun fact i you are the first person to uh, you know broadcast from in a train so well done that's dedication <laughs> thank you very much yeah yeah <laughs> thank you so very much thank you so much <laughs> and your internet connection is very good that's the thing I'm, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah you are yeah, moving fortunately fortunately <laughs> <laughs> So, okay yeah so uh, you, you know you were talking about women rugby uh, so how is it being an ex co member of uh, the Pakistan uh, rugby union being of, especially fact, being a woman in the very in there? first time i got this mm. <laughs> yeah it's quite tough but it's very first time that i have been elected in the expo uh, uh, ex co members uh, as a women representative and uh, in pakistan women are not that much privileged to get participation at such forums but uh, uh, some people recommended my name and i'm i'm quite uh, grateful to all of them who proposed my, my name at this forum and um, consequently i also got elected so i, I feel uh, myself uh, prest- oh, okay now now probably uh, shirin got disconnected uh, <laughs> anyway but i i think guys uh, i think everyone can can agree that's dedication you know just turning on the phone and this is the beauty of internet you can do it anywhere as long as there's Uh, an internet like anyway guys uh, thank you very much shirin just now i hope uh, she's all right i hope uh, the internet line will be uh, back on and thank you very much to shobia and also thank you very much to sandia for being on the show for sharing your experiences for sharing your thoughts uh, of being an unstoppable and please don't stop playing rugby uh, be an unstoppable what's up anyway guys i brought uh, see you guys again next week uh, on asia rugby live real talk real rugby See you again and good night. Thank you so much sir.